Hi, I'm Colette Acker and this is Janice McPhailin and we are board certified lactation consultants from the Breastfeeding Resource Center and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we're talking about plug ducks. Ah. So Janice, why don't we start off by telling everybody what exactly is a plug duct? Well, Colette, the technical definition of is an area of the breast where the milk flow is obstructed. We all know that feeling when you get a hard spot in your breast, it's tender, it might be red. Some moms feel like the baby isn't getting milk through on that side as easily. Pumping moms might notice a decrease in their output on that side. Um, all in all, no fun. No fun. So Colette, this, this is really common. Can you tell the folks why they might get a plug? Yeah, I think we both have you know several reasons why uh, this happens. Um, <laughs> One is your baby sleeps through the night, but your breasts don't, and I know many of you want this problem desperately, but it's still no fun waking up with a pain in your breast. Yeah, or you leave the baby and you miss a feeding, but you didn't get a chance to pump while you were out. This can leave some milk sitting in the breast and cause a plug duct. Yeah, and many moms um, state that the breast pump doesn't work as well as the baby. The baby clears the breast beautifully, but the pump doesn't get all the milk up. It gets them back up, and that can cause a plug. True. Or you just have way too much milk, and you get plug ducts regularly. And there's many women who want that problem, too, but too much milk can be no fun. Um, what's another one? Well, sometimes we don't have any idea why it's happening. Uh, mom, some moms are more prone to them, and they seem to get them more often, but there's no really exact reason why it's happening. Right. Well, you know, but remember, if you're between day three and day seven postpartum, it's really common to feel lumpy. So don't panic. This is just a common phase when your milk supply is really starting to increase there. Yeah, so now we know what a plug is, and we know some reasons why they occur. How do you get rid of the darn things? Well, uh, there's an, another IBCLC. Her name is Maya Bowman, and she came up with a technique for breast massage that works really well. Um, you know, before Maya's technique, we used to really say to squeeze and try to push it through from the back of the breast, like my breast here, Colette. It's a nice um, breast. <laughs> um, but really, Maya's technique makes a lot more sense. She suggests that you start at the front of, if the plug was here, you start at the front and gradually work your way back as you're massaging. Imagine you have a knot in your hair. You're not going to start behind the knot and try to rip it through. It'll never get through. So what you want to do is start in the very tip of the knot and work your way through and gradually working your way back until you reach the back of the knot. So this works really well. Another thing you might want to do in this technique is use some warm olive oil. If you take a little bit of olive oil, warm it up a bit in the microwave and put it on your fingers, it helps your fingers glide easier across the breast as you're trying to work through the plug. Applying heat before you start this process can help as well. I would put a heating pad on for a good five or 10 minutes before you even start with the olive oil and then start working through. Colette, do you have any other ideas? Yeah, I was just going to say this technique works beautifully. Moms are telling us that it, it, it works really well. And, um, you know, you just got to create the avenue so that the plug can travel through. And that's really the goal. Um, but some moms find breaking the plug up a little bit can be helpful. So before the baby nurses, um, maybe get an electric toothbrush. And the flat side of the toothbrush, you can put on the plug or around the plug to help break it up so it's easier to get through. You don't have an electric toothbrush, maybe you have a little personal massager at home you can use. It might work. Um, another idea is if you try to point your baby's chin towards the plug when you're breastfeeding. So the tongue is where the chin is, so if you aim the chin at the plug, you might get a little more suction there. So if this is the back of your breast and your plug is back here, you might want to try a football hold so the baby's tongue is on, near where the plug is and might help pull it through a little bit. Absolutely. And some mothers, if the baby isn't able to pull the plug out themselves, they may pump a little bit on that affected side after feedings to try and work the plug through. Another idea is a mineral called lecithin. I'll definitely check with your doctor before you take any kind of a medication or a mineral. But um, the recommended dosage would be one capsule, 1,200 milligrams, three to four times a day until the plug resolves. And once you start seeing that resolve, you can start cutting back the number of pills that you take per day. 
Yeah, and the theory behind that is that it thins the milk out, so um, it's not as sticky and it doesn't coagulate and form plugs. So some moms find it really helpful. But if you try all these techniques and you still have a problem, that's when you give us a call. Call the Breastfeeding Resource Center. We now have three locations. We're in King of Prussia, Pennsylvania, Ben Salem, and Abington, Pennsylvania. So especially if you're in the Philadelphia area, we're here for you. Um, we accept all Independence Blue Cross plans, and um, the majority of the Aetna plans are also accepted. Um, and for those whose insurance doesn't cover it, uh, we do have a sliding scale of payment, so it's affordable for everyone to come. So come join us. Give us a call if you're running into problems. Great. Well, that's actually all we have time for today. So we'll see you next time when we talk about that plug duct that gets stuck in your breast and moves its way to the tip of your nipple. That's right. The, the blab. blab. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.